What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya. I'm Bella. And we are in New York. I'm kind of obsessed with everything Barbie right now, so I'm walking around trying to find Barbie merch. I'm at the Disney store looking for new Illy Forever dolls. I know there is a guy now and like a Bambi theme, so we're gonna see if we can find them on the shelf. And look at that, it's a Belle themed fashion pack. Love the little dress, so cute. Okay, we already have you, already have that. Oh, look at that display, it's so adorable. Look at the girls. And right next to it is Aladdin, I mean the Aladdin themed doll. We found it. Here's a Moana fashion pack. Anna from Frozen, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Oh, this is adorable. I love the shorts and Space Mountain. I love everything sci-fi. So this is perfect. There's a Mad Tea Party fashion pack. Love the skirt. It's a travel set. I have to have this. We are at Sweet Sweet 2023. Getting ready to check out some toys. Let's go. You know me, as soon as I get here, I have to run over to the fashion dolls and we are checking out what is new from Naturalistas. These dolls came out last year and of course we reviewed them all. That little spa pack in the back is one of my faves. They also have styling heads so you can have fun doing their hair and they are introducing little Listas as well as a Leah styling head. Purpose Toys is also launching Latinistas, a celebration of Latina culture. Here we are getting new dolls with new character names, combable hair, and they have colorful fashion and accessories. Love the orange. Check out the purple. Disney Dorables Let's Go Series 2 is giving us some of our favorite characters in new poses. Is that the fabulous Miss Piggy? Love her. I am seeing so many characters that I love, like the characters from Lilo and Stitch and Encanto. And of course, they recently launched Disney Dorables Series 10. Here we get to see all of them out of the box. I love this. The Dorbles from Atlantis are definitely at the top of my must-have list. Then I see the Emperor's New Groove. That's Tiana. We have some ballerinas, Toy Story. There are so many. And of course, I need them all. Disney Dorables Academy has 45 figures to collect. I've seen these on Amazon and I love the little lockers. Just heard some magical news. Winx is coming back with some merch. Get ready and keep an eye out. Tamagotchi Uni is now an accessory you can wear on your wrist. Is that a little stuffed rabbit? She just carried it into another room. We went to the Disney store looking for new Illy Forever dolls and we didn't find all the ones we wanted to see, but guess what, y'all? There are some here at Sweet Sweet. Illy Forever dolls are Disney bounding. They are the ultimate Disney fan. Loving this stitch look, love the robe, and that Bambi top, and the fuzzy skirt. Ursula has purple hair, and let's focus on the I Love Mickey doll with that leather jacket and the polka dots. Each doll comes with another outfit, so we can mix and match. You know how we love miniatures, right? Well, now there is Make It Real Mini Pottery Studio that uses air dry clay. So after we make our creations, we can just let it sit and dry overnight. Plus the pottery wheel is enclosed, so there is less mess. From Wowee, Fingerlings. Friendship at your fingertips. That's right, folks. Fingerlings are back with 70 plus sounds and reactions. They know when they are on your finger, its little heart lights up and it's beating. 
and we can rock them to sleep. Check out what's new from Miraculous. So many dolls. These are their core fashion dolls. Some of them are out now and some are coming soon, like this one and this one and this one. Here are some dolls from Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir, the movie. Loving the dress and oh, what is that? I see a new car. The trunk opens, it looks like the doors open. It's super high tech, love it. What? Retro Strawberry Shortcake and Rainbow Bright are coming back? This is like my childhood. You don't understand. Everything in my room was Rainbow Bright, Care Bears, Strawberry Shortcake, and now it's back. Keep an eye out in 2024. I am at the Three Doodler table. We love using our Three Doodler start to make miniatures. Check out this hammock they made for Barbie. It's a 3D pen that can be used to make all kinds of things, like this little house. It even has windows. I've been running around everywhere looking for Super Impulse because they have new Barbies. Cowgirl, Rollerblade, they look about three inches, have combable hair, and can move at the waist. And of course, Barbie the movie. We've already reviewed the dolls, but here is a look at a tiny dream house inspired by the movie. It is three floors and you can look at all the details inside. And don't forget the slide. We're at the Barbie Cafe. We're back in the studio. We had a blast in New York, meeting up with so many friends and checking out new toys. Did I buy anything in New York? I might have picked up a thing or two. At the Aldo shoe store in New York, I got Barbie rings. It was $28 for five. I totally plan on wearing these to the Barbie movie. Some of them are pink. I bought those Barbie magazines, Hollywood Spotlight, The Ultimate Guide to Barbie, and The Unofficial Story, Barbie. I have a little pink magazine collection growing here, and I love it. And from the Disney store, I finally picked up the Little Mermaid singing Ariel doll. I've been collecting the ones from Mattel, and now we can compare them. I want to say this one was originally just a mermaid, so her tail was sculpted on. I took her and put her on a made-to-move body. Let's take a look at the Disney doll. I really miss having a local Disney store. This doll was $34.99. We are still getting a wavy rooted hair and a twisted hair that is supposed to represent locks. The locks start on the side of the center part, which I think causes a little bulk. She still has painted edges and smaller eyes, which I love. However, her head might be bigger, which is something we've come to expect from Disney dolls. This doll is not pixelated. She has a toothy grin, comes with a fabric tail. It has a nice little shimmer to it. In some spots, it looks green and then purple, whereas her top is more purple than green. They have a really pretty little iridescent trim. There are fabric fins in the back, and then the tail is also fabric and fades from pink to purple to green. Since this is a singing doll, there is an on and off switch on her side. She has painted undergarments, so we can pretend she has a bathing suit. And this doll is fully articulated with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, 
There's a double joint at the knee, so we're getting some really good articulation there. And there's a joint at the ankle. I think there's enough articulation here that you don't have to put her on a made-to-move body, unless you really want to. Although a double joint at the elbow would be nice. She comes with a second look, which is her blue dress from the movie, and headscarf. The dress looks really nice. The sleeves are sheer, and the skirt has a nice texture. And she comes with a pair of light pink shoes. I like that the Disney Store Ariel comes with her mermaid look and her human look. And she's fully posable. Here are the two Ariels in their blue dresses. Let us know in the comments down below which one is your fave. Overall, we had a great time in New York hanging out with friends, going to Sweet Sweet, the Barbie Cafe, and adding to our Little Mermaid collection. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. Follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.